Hello, I'm Luke Ford. My website is lukeford.net. I remember in uh, January of 2005, uh, there was an essay published in the New York Times Sunday Book Review by Wendy Shalit, and uh, she complained about Jewish novelists writing negatively and unfairly about Orthodox Judaism. And the one novelist she did not mention, who has perhaps the deepest background in Orthodox Judaism, certainly Hasidic Judaism, is Paul Abraham. And uh, I asked Paul about Wendy Shalit's essay. Paul replied, Wendy Shalit was asking a valid question. She asked whether this is art, and the answer is that much of it is merely entertainment. But her conclusions were entirely obtuse, astonishingly confused. Good literature and bad literature have nothing to do with religion. Stereotypes, caricatures, and sentimentality are easy crowd pleasers and make for easy reading. These writers are finding a market niche, Jewish Americans seeking entertainment disguised as literature. Even if the work shows some craft, it doesn't necessarily qualify as art. Enduring art features authentic characters that live on the page and walk off the page and continue to live for 400 years, as Don Coyote and Hamlet have. Such characters come from the writer's ability to enter deeply and empathetically into these characters from what Keats famously called a negative capability, which is an ability to become the other. Shakespeare's characters are particularized humans who can think and change and after Harold Bloom overhear themselves. Paul Abraham continues, the controversy helped the writers sell books and they all took full advantage of it with responses. I like to think that I was excluded because I didn't suit Wendy's thesis. For one thing, I write with empathy and sympathy for that world and I hope my characters aren't caricatures and I hope they live. So uh, read more about Paul Abraham and American Jewish literature on my website, lukeford.net.